Okay, so good morning, everyone, and welcome back into this class. We are completed approximately. What I can say is twenty days of course. Now, let me see. We have done twenty days. I'm sure yes. Yes. So we are on the day number twenty today. And what I can say now is that we are in a good format. As, as per my previous experience, we are on the good pace now. Not very fast, not very slow, but yes, on the <clears throat> right pace. The topic which I'm going to start now is is little important from the practical perspective. Let me share my screen before anyone complained. Yeah, okay. So the topic for this complete week, I am saying, <clears throat> target to complete this topic. in four days specifically but if we need to be stretch it will go to five days i request each and every one don't take a leave in this five days now because if you missed one lecture you need to miss every lecture then because we cannot go back for <clears throat> one person to understand that how the things has been working the topic includes or the topic starts from the service portal and the request management actually these are the two topics service portal <clears throat> and the request management here till this point okay today i will give you the service portal introduction then we will leave this as it is and tomorrow we will start on the <clears throat> request management perspective okay but yes these this topic the request management is topic the bigger one when we complete this topic i can say approximately 40 to 50 percent syllabus will be completed because as per the target 40 days slab 40 days 40 hours close uh, hours <coughs> course is we almost done 20 plus hours as of now <coughs> so that's not an issue so now the question come what is service portal in layman example in layman language a interface which you use to order something <clears throat> for your requirement if you want to order uh, if you want to order something if you want to raise any incident <clears throat> and if you want to see any knowledge article <clears throat> then we use the service portal give me a minute guys <clears throat> then we use the service portal so like every company every every e-commerce site every every shopping sites providing you that part amazon flipkart mintra zomato swiggy ola uber maybe i can say if hometown and and maybe you can you can pick up some some big malls or big big brands of ESC or CSC perspective. What you do? You log into their website. You make your account. You order. Do the payment. It delivered at your doorstep. Somewhere it is very good. Somewhere it is very bad. It's impacting our health very badly. Okay. <clears throat> so these things called the service portal. Now may, I have, and don't be confused. I am saying service portal. if i talk about the app like amazon its own app flipkart its own app mantra has its own app grofer it has own app so app is the one one way of interaction service portal is mainly i can say which is a web based you are doing you as a user is using and placing your request on the particular company okay <clears throat> so service now also give us a number of service portal so if i go here there is a default service portal has been given what you have to do right and at the end slash st st stands stands for service portal and i'm sure you guys notice we are on the san diego now i am putting this theme i am putting this option on so that we all get familiar on the san diego 
there is a there is a one issue going on in my instance that you can see it showing the unknown user maybe for you also showing unknown user and you are not getting the impersonation rule that's that's fine no problem that can be a bug or that can be issue in my instance let's see that part okay so this is the service portal given by service now so now if i if i open uh So Atul, you are trying to say that we can create any website from here. It's a service portal. Don't call it a website. Website okay. is something different. Mm -hmm. Service. See, if if I say for everyone, it is a website only. But yeah. as I'm using a tool, so better we use the tool specific terminologies. Okay. If you say website, it can be a any anything you uh, any language you can use and you can build up because in this portion we are seeing on the page a lot of things are already built up we have to just drag and drop in our areas okay, okay. <clears throat> so that is the thing so we can create a number of photos you want to do that you can create okay so now let's see if i if i show you the flip card what you guys can analyze from this particular Let's say this is a service portal. What you are able to see <clears throat> on the top, I have a login. Here I have a cart. Here I have what you can say. These are the categories I can call. Are the categories specifically are the catalogs I can say grocery catalog, mobile catalog, fashion catalog, electronic catalog. Under that I have a category sim, and under that I have the multiple categories. Correct. I can place my order if I log in with my ID. I can ask here. how to configure email in new mobile maybe i get something <clears throat> they don't have this functionality they they don't have that functionality that they can search the article so now in short <clears throat> you log in here you select any item you make a payment you get a message you get a email product delivered at your doorstep in 5 or 7 days now why i should this <clears throat> interface and and one more thing don't think that i am i am promoting flipkart no it is just example i put it here let me come back to our bread butter and jam called service now <clears throat> okay so in service now this portal has a standard i can say components available on the top we can say it's a banner frame just just as of now just see that part in the in the middle <clears throat> we have a search and in the down we have a these three boxes and then we have a multiple boxes can i change the text Yes, you can change the text. Can I change the this background image green color? Yes, we can change. Can I change the theme of this color as well, or these options as well? Yes, we can do that part. Let's take quick round on the <clears throat> service portal. Same concept, service portal. If you click on this, you are really coming on the home page directly. That is a simple funda. Apply here. <clears throat> Knowledge. If you want to see. if you want to find out any article either i can click here either i can search here email configure so now as per my my words it fetch this results for me detect deleted email recovery i click on this <clears throat> and i can see this article don't put a question at all how this article can be created i'll i'll tell you in the upcoming days there is a concept called the mod application called the knowledge management we will discuss in that area but let, let let's say example of this thing microsoft and now if i go and put it here will the 
on the Microsoft icon, found it. You open this, you read this, you rate this. Someone write it here. You done that part useful. You say yes. It is a useful for you. Rating you can say five. Why these are necessary? So that being a customer, being a sorry, being a service provider, I can verify that the article which I am putting here is useful for my customer or not. Same concept you can see here. A rating, yes, you can give it. Useful, yes. Rating, four. Any comment you want to put? Done. We do. Be, being being an end user, being a customer, we do this thing. So this is the first part you can do. Number one, either you can search either from the home in the middle, or you can click on either this or either this. I click on the knowledge. We will this. We will see <clears throat> that why when I click on this knowledge, why only this page has been opened. Up to this level of configuration, we are going to be see. That is the reason I'm saying don't take leave now. <clears throat> Otherwise, you're going to miss a lot of things. Yes, any question in between? Good. So you can go here, you can see, suppose I want to search an article for the hardware or the devices. Then either you can search it here, either I can go with device, Apple. And I can see only one article. No, it is not for my use. If you did not find any relevant article, then you go and raise a incident for the particular uh, particular customer. In IT, I have Android announcements, FPQ, Java policy, security. I say policy. So these article, how these categories are there, everything you will discuss. But as of now, just understand, yes, on the service portal, we have a knowledge as well. Okay, because every company says, I should get the less number of tickets. I should <clears throat> make my operations, make my process in such a manner that customer can use the knowledge articles, read it and solve his problem automatically or by his own hand, not automatically, by at his own end. <clears throat> so that is a concept coming to the knowledge base. Any doubt, any question till this point? Anyone, any clarity required up to this point? <clears throat> yeah, you can give all your videos to upload there. Yes, 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 I, I'll, I'll do that part. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, let's come here now. Now, if this thing has been done, let me come to the service portal here and click on the catalog. A very, very, very interesting point because this is one of the core area for us to do the work as a, as a consultant as well. What do you mean by the word catalog? In simple layman language, a menu card is a catalog. Either you go for the go in bar, either you go in restaurant, either you go in small hotel, motel, anywhere you go. Even if you go for 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 purchasing the curtains on the on this um, shops, then they have a catalog. Ma'am, see this catalog and tell me which you what you want. I can show you. So in short, if I click on this catalog. <clears throat> Oh, oh yes, okay, here. Yeah. I can see the number of categories. Now, now listen very carefully and try to bind out with your practical things. I, not I, let, let's go here. <clears throat> Nupur, Sneha and Deepika together open a restaurant. Ladies is always good in the, in the, Baking, cooking, and all the things will be there. So they say, let's let's put some money and let's open the restaurant. They open it. They done the planning. They open it. 
now what they they, they plan uh, or they hire someone and say boss can you design a menu card for us that person say yes menu card means i am talking about the catalog <clears throat> in this catalog they say first thing write about the snacks <clears throat> okay then write about the soups okay then write about the sweets okay then write about the main course okay fine then in the snacks <clears throat> just mention chowing close in the soup <clears throat> mention veg or in the sweets mention in the main course mention bread <clears throat> rice gravy and all now tell me one thing here if i if i just expand it okay. if you see this options <clears throat> if you see this option then what you can say well, if i put a menu card is like this nupur dipika sneha nds food parlor so this is the catalog nds food parlor this is the category this is another category this is another category and this is another category this let me put it like that category this is the catalog item because if i come to your restaurant i will not order snacks i'll either order chow mein or i'll do the spring roll so catalog item means the last component which will be ordered by a customer order by a end user if i put in the ice cream if i put mango apple and oh. then in this case this is still a category and these are the catalog items remember this concept there is a one fundamental question i will be going ask maybe when we when we start the request management clear everyone till this point any doubt everyone clear at great so now let's come back to here so now i said i am a i have a catalog let me browse by the category these are the categories i can create because don't say we are we are be thinking on this part let's think from the it perspective when anyone join a new company Manager says, "Go and raise the request for laptop. Laptop means it is under the hardware, then under device, under <coughs> laptop, and in the laptop I have a executive and send." you can create n number of categories you want to do and then you raise either a request on the executive or standard as per your designation or as per the guidance given by your manager so if i go here and see i have n number of <coughs> categories like under hardware i have a desktop so you can order this executive desktop i have mobile you can order this mobile the the uh, <clears throat> if you are working in a support project you may just say okay go and raise a request for the support mobile you go here and raise a request <clears throat> but you did not pay that amount <clears throat> correct 
you did not pay for that amount because that has been taken care by a finance department on your course code so that is a different thing let's not go in that areas of now <clears throat> printer tablets office peripherals softwares this thing. i want to install acrobat in my system dream you in my system i go and is a request okay clear everyone till this point how this has been defined what is the background for this one we'll discuss on the wednesday call when i show the request management okay now if as a user if i if i book something if i order something from amazon and i want to see the see the tracking you can click on the request these are the requests which has been opened on your name and these are the status you can see it's showing the incident as well it's showing the request as well <clears throat> okay so this is a place where you can go and check your request status okay and these two options these are this option will not available for any other user than admin because i i have an admin right so if i click on this i can see the system status as well which is which is not for anyone use as of now so we are not going to discuss by default it will not show to any itel user then cart if you want to add some item in your shopping cart you can do that part as of now my cart is empty and then yes Atul, yes go are ahead. these uh, is are these uh, by default these menu Which cards one? the cart and system status all these these are the catalogs no number one these are the, the these are not the menu card these are the menus here menus no yeah. these these things depend on the theme you pick up in your service portal okay today today just see this tomorrow when i show the service portal that how this can be configured then i'll show you this thing as well the what we are using we are using the service portal it means something has been defined by service now in the background let me show you here portal <clears throat> here let me change the theme for this okay so now you can see these many portals has been given by service now to us and we are using this this portal as of now it has some different theme available here okay so tomorrow i'll show you that if you want to create your own portal how you can create it i'll i'll we will discuss that atul when i click on this why it will landing on this page only i want some different page i show you that if you click on this knowledge i want to see some different pages there i want to see the clocks here something sh should be different i i want to be see so that is called the uh, service portal configuration today we are just going for the introduction part that what is service portal and how it will look like maybe if we have time today i'll take you that that we we'll start the discussion as well okay nupur so just just hold it for some time we'll discuss this thing one by one okay all fine nupur yes yes atul okay now cart has been done then you can see your profile here normal you can if you want to change your company your title department bio email id you can make a change here simple as as we can do from here we can do from the here as well so i can put my picture and it will be save because there is no save button it means it is auto save now i can put clear everyone till this point any doubt any question anyone okay now come to the next section of this particular 
introduction this banner or this this menu is we are discuss now this is called the search option again it will be work like a global search but you cannot search your record items here let me say i want to order a laptop executive so desktop so i can find the catalog item directly and when i write executive desktop it see it go and check in the knowledge one it go and check in the catalog that boss where this word has been mentioned let me find out maybe i'm i'm looking for executive desktop assembling not i don't want to be order something so these are all the predefined areas we can we can see like i want to see the category is in it email apply this one no no i i'm i'm from the it operating system let me see in the this area apply i can find out again these options we will see but these are the things available for the end user either you can click on this or this same thing happen you click knowledge base or this same thing happen but this is something different get help if you are not able to find the relevant thing on the service portal either a knowledge article either a catalog item you can raise a incident here and go here and show more and where is gone uh how can we help you change password request password not this one create incident this one click on this this is for the record producer this is again part of our request management only in during that during the discussion we'll see that how i can create a record producer record producer okay i i'll give you homework now mm, to whom should i give now sneha note down this point read about the difference between the order guide and the record producer and the catalog item read about these three things and read about the basic difference of this so now i can create a incident from here and i click on the uh, atul read about yes. the difference between record producer catalog item and what was the first one order guide order guide okay, okay. so now you can see i put my description on the basic description i am getting some help text here or some get some uh, knowledge articles if you think i want to be used i can use otherwise i'll click on the submit my incident has been created in the system now not sure why it's taking a lot of time because i have little problem in in this area in my my instance okay good it has been done now so i got a incident number here clear how this format is coming this activity attachment you can you can check my video on the cubic release cubic features in cubic feature they releases this new new part that to make a changes like this just try and and try to watch or maybe maybe if you have your personal instance then see how it's be appearing for you and how it's be appearing in my my system okay now if this thing has been come done let me come to the another point here this is important to uh, the request yes. something knowledge base and get help uh, these icons are generally known as what, what or is in these, specific name for these um, i can say these are called as a widgets 
Okay. Okay. We just maybe uh, maybe we, we when we get when we get our portal tomorrow, I'll see that what else we can call them. I is as per my experience or understanding saying it's we call it as a widget only. Okay. Okay. Now this thing so, current uh, system. Yes, please. Uh, one Sorry. question. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, I just wanted to know, like you're explaining to how to raise a uh, request something or instance. So like, what are you trying to say that uh, like depict that are we going to raise and we are, we, is it a standard way only that we need to follow or is there something that we can modify in this also in future? Okay. If you're going to explain, yeah. Yes. So, so it, the, the point that how we can raise a request, we'll see in a uh, Wednesday call, your question specifically. Remember one thing, this is a tool. And definitely when you, when you purchase any tool, there's a, there's a standard way of working or using that tool, number one point. But we as a human being are not happy with any kind of tool at the first point. We want to make some changes in that. So if you think, Atul, I don't like this portal. Can I make a change? I'll show you some good examples. See, someone created a portal like this. Someone created a portal like this. This is what we see. I show you one, one customized one. See, almost similar. This one. So you can modify the front end, but backend will be same. Backend will be same. Now, if you, I can show you this one. See, this is a pure customized portal. And believe me, doing the customization on the portal is always the hardest part. Because this requires Angular JS, this requires sometimes Jelly, this requires sometimes HTML, CSS, every knowledge you need it. So, so maybe if I say, tell you here, Nupur, if I want to make this this particular icon from here to here, I need to do a lot of changes in the system, possibly. So okay, yes, good. So this uh, service now, these service portals are also in competition with the. Microsoft uh, portals, right? KM portals, typically then. They, they're not in the competition. They they are building their own portal. They are they are enhancing the portals for the user experience. But so yes, say, hey, we can create uh, KM portals, right? Uh, through service now then? We already have a KM. Why you want to create a different KM portal? We already have a KM option here. Okay. Now, apart from this uh, typical service uh, management portfolio for any generic portfolio also we can create uh, this portal then okay let, let me show you something good here uh e e s c okay let me open this kb SWP. For your part, uh, uh, this is a knowledge portal. Okay. Complete knowledge portal. No to knowledge base, 31 articles. You can go and click on this. Service now know your needs actually. They already built up the things for you. Now, if I say come here, Capability one, only catalog, nothing else is there. See. So from ITSM portal to slowly into K knowledge management system and closely getting into ERP level then. ERP level, correct, correct. We don't, I did not install a plugin called the customer service management. When we discuss that, I'll, I'll install that. They also provide the two different portals. Okay. So it is it is up to you. But I, as a personal on my personal experience, I not recommend to go for the service portal configuration very frequently because it requires a lot of efforts to make a changes on a one single point. 
that is the only one reason and and there is a lot of demand in the market as of now for the service portal guys now i show you one thing see this is the new portal has been introduced by service now not new i i'll not say new means the san diego no it is in the cubic release and i see one more topic here yes ecs ecs and ecm some someone someone ping me and say atul can you include these two topics so i what i know i basically telling you so this is called the employee service center what they are saying let's remove this service portal and bring everyone on a single portal only it for it and for it here you can just see my request and you can raise the request Me, means only you can see it from here maybe i did not have must more plugin installed at point of time so it's not working properly or maybe i can see it and some it for it one i can go here request knowledge base and ecm portal let me show you the ecm portal i guess uh let me go and search here atul what is plugin just ah, okay uh Suppose you want to be switch on, you want to be put uh, plug into the socket, okay? But you have a three pin switch, and your the socket board has only two pin. Then what you do? You bring from the market a three pin or five pin switch plug and put it on that socket, and then you put your on. Uh, plug there right so plug in basically the functionality which is not given by tool out of the box to you but you want to use then use the plug in see if i if i give example how many of you have a samsung phone anyone has samsung phone recently samsung put a one more thing in the phone called the samsung pay mini so they saying instead of using the google pay you can use the pay mini i was browsing something on my phone and i found it and i activate that part that is a plugin i activated to support that functionality so plugin is something which are be there to support your core functions if you need you activate but vice versa is not possible once you activated you cannot deactivate so so yesterday if you if you if you watch my video on this on the san diego part i showed you something i tell there that please activate the pad plugin process automation designer means if you want to use that functionality you have to be use that plugin let's say example once so so now uh, it's it's nupur right nupur so your kid is approximately 3 years now right Yes. So when you travel, you always take care, or you prepare a separate bag for your kid, your your son, a water bottle, a yes. milk bottle, some snacks, some biscuits, cake. You put it right. Maybe after three or four years, when he be be good in in a format, good in a way that he can understand, he can eat, he can speak. You will not carry these things, right? So now the yes. bag you are carrying is a plug-in for you. because you need it as of now to support your core function okay we have one topic again i'll i'll you will say atul everything you have a topic yes we have one topic about the activation of the plugins where i'll show you that how you can find out the plugin where you can find out the plugin how to activate that plugins actually okay clear nupur Okay, so in basically service portal, if we want some extra activity which is not possible here, we we activate plugin for that. Suppose Java plugin. No, 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 no. See, Java plugin is something different. Java plugin is to build that application. Okay. But this plugin means that one module is already available. Like if I if I say, uh, True Caller, you are using the True Caller in your mobile phone. Yes, it is an app, but for me it is a plugin because via True Caller I am able to get the unknown number in advance. 
that plug in i activated on my phone and now before someone if someone call me at the unknown number i can see who is calling it's a spam it is a good call it is a bad call and i take a final decision on that part okay just just wait for for some more days i'll come to the topic for the activation of plugins okay and the reason i'm saying if you if you have your queries why not you go and use it go here and mark and search for the plugin search it go here do your r and d who stop you because you have a admin rights it's a pdi try to find out something okay clear nupur yes sir yes um uh, excuse me that's <clears throat> so yes go ahead so my pdi you said um we don't know why your yours is showing unknown i did upgrade it to san diego and it's not showing unknown it's showing you the correct username right yes, yes. i yes. i know that because even i saw yesterday a lot of posts on the linkedin where people are saying it's working fine but but the reason can be what i tell you i was doing a lot of r and d before creating that video okay. and during that r and d maybe something i deactivated some activate i some file i activated by mistake yeah probably probably Th that, that is the only reason that is the only reason and i clearly mentioned in my in my in my video as well i tried to reach out to few experts as well they also told that atul something you done wrong in between now the only option is left i should be clear my instance and take a new instance but i do not want to be go for the same i am i am happy with the same no problem i'll find out some solution on this on that area okay so sir, sir uh, as i have logged yes. in uh, it is showing showing the same as a known user it any if if anyone who is using my instance they will be getting this unknown only if you are using your own instance and you upgrade it then it can be showing as a correct for you okay sir okay now let come let come back here where it's where it was it's esm right esm and ecs portal we discuss esm uh, let me try to find out esm portal service now because yes enterprise service one because now what what happening specifically that every organization is saying that why should i multiple portals so like you can see here we are using the service portal if i activated if i activate the customer service management in my system then i can see csm portal as well if i activate human resource plugin in my system i can see the hr portal as well it means being a service provider and being a customer i have to be use a three or four multi different different what i can say portal for the same so in this case we are be bringing we are be coming on a module called the esm part enterprise service management okay so it say what is esm enable the service employee delivery can provide opportunity to deliver a superior digital experience and all these things maybe let let's see if i have installed that part enter framework framework your yeah, service portal for enterprise service management it's already installed at my side see it is already there right so we no need to be do anything here enterprise portal for enterprise service management but what portal they call is we need to be see uh, either they call it ecs only if i'm not wrong yes they, they call it as ecs let let's do little r and d mm, because i want to be show you this thing someone someone specifically ping me on the on the on the whatsapp and ask that please include this particular concept in your uh, training and when we are going to be discuss on that part it's my responsibility to tell you multiple kind of portals available in in service now 
no thanks. Portal this plugin. We already activated that plugin. This knowledge base done, done, done. Knowledge status. This is the one. It's and it's already installed in our system. You can see it's already installed. If you want to do, let me just do a repair here quickly. Maybe if something wrong is there, it can be load the demo data. Let's do it a repair. Okay. So there is a separate link available for this. Maybe the same link which I'm using that is called the ECS. This one, or maybe something different is there. Okay, let let's do one more R and D ESM portal service now link. This. This we how do I enable? We are done that part, not required. Enterprise service one. Let's see what they mentioned the white paper, doc activate knowledge plugin, how to do deploy this thing. I'm just looking looking for that one. So something like this. This is unified service center, like this, it will be there. So we are be like in in this case you oh okay okay I got it now where we are gone this one because we don't have any plugin activity till now in our system we just have an IT right we are using the ITSM no HR nothing is there so we are not able to see any other option here and that is the reason we are be able to get only IT one okay. Once we activate the another plugin, so if, if you see here, like this one I am looking for, this is a service portal, normal service portal, and this is a unified one. Deliver unified multi department portal. So that now, instead of I say, if you want to order laptop, go to service portal. I'll say, if you want to order laptop, or if you have any query on the EC, on the HR, go and there's a query on the HR part there only. So you can check it here. How to get this one we done. Let's see other ones. Activate service portal. We are going to this. Let me in the meantime click on this. This is and okay, this is Accenture one, not required. If they have any link on this, no. ESM, no, it is not way for us. No, it is not there. It has gone. Sometimes this, this search actually help us. I'm just checking that what is the link for this? Mm. Portal service now link in PDI. Uh, this one, I guess, employee activate employee service center. I'm sure this one. So something similar we are be getting here, but not sure that why I'm not getting anything options here. Like if I say browse for all IT, let's see. Okay, like I have here IT. I just have a request management here. Sorry, this one here, not other than that. The reason can be, let me show you the reason. This is ECS portal, right? This one and open this. This is the application. Okay, let's let's do one thing, guys. I'm I'm sure that I'm confusing a lot of people here now. Okay, let's come back to our standard topic. I'll I'll try to I'll check on this part that what is the link for this one, and then we'll discuss. But for this one, not ECM, it seems something different. That is enterprise service management. Management. This is a portal which I want to be show you. Okay, so nowadays, what happening that service now bringing all other portal at a one place, and that is called the ECS. This one. Once we install the IT, sorry HR, it will show me the HR plugin as well here, and I can go and do the drop here, and I can find out the HR part here as well. Okay, 
what we were discussing here that these are called the widgets and these are the standard widgets okay what you want to use what you don't want to be used you can keep it or you can remove it okay my open incident you want to show it here or you want to show it here you want to show it here these things we can make a changes but if you say atul can i create my own widget answer is yes you can still create your own widget as well but that's not that much easy because these things include a number of points making bringing this lines into here or making making the this this format or this format is a little difficult part okay so we are we are i lot of discouraging but yes we are not much encouraging our customers to go any customization on this part we say that boss if you are facing any uh, let's use this want to modify this thing want to modify this thing we can do that part but let's follow the standard one either create a portal from the scratch itself okay everyone clear till this point or any doubt let me take a note of this this question is yes one yes guys any doubt any question anyone ask ask don't don't feel shy not asking let me come to my main screen okay ritona bumi veer bikola sneha nupur lara any doubt so you call it uh, atul this esm the esc center enterprise service management no i mean what and do you call it here like catalog item what is it this thing this thing Category. yeah this in the whole you uh, the one that you are selecting the employees uh, center the okay, esm that, that you were searching about that that is the esc portal employee service center portal so it will have a different theme right it will be a it will have it it will have a so now now what will do if you don't have any question on on this topic what i will do i'll show you that how these things has been working in the background okay okay so let let me close other options here first and let me open this part only service portal okay and i go here and search for the and i click on the portal here i open my service portal okay let me change the scope to global now we will discuss each and everything very clearly number 1 point can we make a change on this link answer is yes let's and how you can do it here l n g save go l n g same thing will be available it is there now so it means if user your customer say hey i want to make a change on this yes you can make a change and that is called the url prefix want to change the service portal name learn grow together see on the top it has been changed learn grow together how did you open the first tab that you go here all search for the portals click on this portal let me open another window we are working on this portal right open this it will be open in this page okay now let let me do one thing uh, atul that page yes. uh, which you shown as portal so this one right no 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 the, the first one this this one yeah. okay yeah so you search there as portal and you got to mm -hmm. here right 
Correct, correct. So prior to that, how we get to that means not SP portal load list. It is this one, this page. So this one. Go, yeah. go to the navigation. The, the this link, how we get to here, this page okay. before go to portal, how we get yes, yes. here. Okay, okay, okay. Let, let's do one thing. Uh, let me come here. Okay. Suppose I want to make a change on this portal, right? Yeah. You remember that how we done the tables? That yeah. how we can create table, how we can modify table. So now we are going to be configure this service portal. We are going to make on this existing service portal. It means there should be some module available for this. Correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So go here and search for the module. Here. Like I so, search for the portals. So this yeah, so that's what I'm asking. This entire page. So we have to search as dashboard dot do to log. You know, be here or after the change no, 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 no. the portal looks like this just go here in the navigation and type writing like incident okay it is the application navigation for us okay okay in so the I'm old theme, it's like this now. yes in the old theme it was there in the new theme it is in the top only All. Okay. okay 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 that is that is the reason i'm telling you guys start using the san diego because Till the time your training will be over, and you are going to be work for a customer. Maybe they are on the already on the San Diego. So I search for the portal and click on the portals here. When I click on the portal, I know that this is the portal I am working. How I know? Number one, I can verify from the link, or either know I know the name of my portal. Okay, now I. Open it. So, like we have a table, so consider that this is a table for the portal now. You can make a change in the title which we done learn grow together. It's saying you can make a URL suffix change. This is now if you mention SP, see you will get an error. Why? Because this SP link does not exist now. If you put LNG. You will find this page. Everyone clear till this point. Kane, Bukola, Laura, Kachi, Sara, Nupur, Deepika, Ditona, Veer, Bumi. Don't don't keep any confusion in your mind. See, these are the development work. But being a consultant, we should know because maybe sometime we have to do the first level of investigation as well. Yes, Pikula, Sara, Bumi, Kane, any doubt, any question till this point? No, the question. Then uh, why you are, not, you are saying that means I don't uh, that. You don't recommend to create a service portal considering these benefits and everything. And uh, some people are using this as a special service. Yes, the reason is that we are just making a changes in the existing portal. Maybe a little bit theme and do. I'm not getting a new portal. If you want to get a new portal, I'll show that as well. Let, let's do one thing. Let's go here. And click on the new. I put. Uh, what is that you have done? What's your channel name, Abir? Sorry. What's your What's your channel channel name? YouTube channel. Yes. Yes, music Virendra. Chalo, I I'll put the Veer. Okay. Huh. And I put. Let me submit it. By default, when I create it, it's checking the default theme. See, you're not getting any, any option on the top, right? It means you have to be modified that part. And now this is called a custom portal. This is called the custom portal for us. Okay. There is no, I'm, I'm saying if you want to create, you can create your own uh, portal. I have no issues, but it is little 
I'll not say I'll, tough is again the wrong word, but it is not recommended much. But I saw many customers who said, "Don't worry, go ahead. I want a good custom one." So, so if you go here like this, maybe Amazon also using the service now. Let, let's take example Amazon using service now. But how much customized they done their portal part? Can you imagine? How much customization they done? There are the companies, there are the customer who was happy to go for the customization. I will pay you go and make a a portal for me, a good portal for me. Okay, so these things is is very carefully. We have to be analyzed that how much efforts we have going to be put in this case. Atul, like if they are using service now, mm -hmm. so if I'm creating a portal. Can it be published for the domain? No need to be put on the domain. You have to just share them. So if you'll be confusing by this in Amazon.in. Yes. So these there are there are some some method in the background where you can do the masking of your your uh, IP to some name actually. This is masking only. It's not a, it's not a domain. It's a masking. Maybe when when I was I was kid now, so people say if you write something here, you will find the here in in the in this particular line, you will find that the IP address for the same as well. And we see wow, it's it's working like this. Now technology has been enhanced. They are they are hiding the this uh, what I can say IP is completely. It's it's not a domain. It's a masking only. I so thought like the service portal was designed only for the internal users and no, customers. No, 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 no. Internal definitely yes, internal definitely. Let let me give you the example now, because now you bring a, another topic here. You purchase a washing machine from the company LG. Okay. Now, if you have any issue in LG or in that washing machine, what do you do? I will raise a complaint. So complaint on their website. To, yeah. On on their website, right? Let's, Let's say that website sure. is called the portal here, right? Yeah. One example. Now suppose you purchase the LG washing machine, and you are the employee of the LG as well. Now what you will do? Pardon? And you you purchase the LG washing machine, and you are the employee of LG as well. Mm -hmm. Then also no, I'll but, raise a complaint. Correct, but now the difference is that the portal for complaint will be different for you as an employee and for you as the end customer. Right, right. Correct, and there we say that it is be, but I can say that these portals are available for the customer as well, for the end user as well. Maybe I am working in a company who is providing a service to the X company. And for them, I'm building a portal. They're using it. Okay. So, so multiple things, uh, multiple points are there to think on this particular portal here. Actually, when I when I give examples of a customer, I'm talking about the customer specific portal, which you are using as a as an end user of LG. So anything is possible, right? So suppose if I get a requirement from the customer that uh, we need a portal, uh, we, we need a customer portal actually. So which can be used by end user. That means the it will be like a website, right? So that it will be like a website. But if you say about the customer, then I'll recommend to go for the customer service management module as well. That we will dis that we will discuss. We have one one hour session on that part. That, that is the designing part, right? The not not design. That is given by service now out of the box. Okay. Okay. So let let's concentrate ourselves on this IT portal only as of now. That if you have any IT issue, if you want to get any IT item in your bucket, mobile, laptop, desktop, anything, then you will use the IT portal here. Now I'll do one change here. Let me open this.
wow, have they done that? No, it's showing the bot. Wait. See, earlier what happened that if I write it like this, okay. Okay, if I suppose I put the first letter as a capital and then small and I open my portal, it give me error. But now service now make a change here that if you write anything in the bold as well and you tab out, it becomes a small. Because whenever we, we mention any link, there is always in the small letters. So I want to show that this problem has been sorted out by service now. Now let's go here and say home page. Now the thing is that if I log in into this portal, I'm getting this page. Everybody's okay on that part. Bhumi, Bikola, Saraha, Kachi. Is everybody uh, okay on that part? No, no, I'm not okay with that. The parts, the last one you just did. Oh my God. Okay, so what I was saying in the, in, Till the room release, if you mention like this, okay, it save like this only. Now, if I click on the save, see, L become smaller, not the capital. This functionality has been changed by service now. And because if I if I mention like this, L N G, and if I go here and mention this L N G my portal page will not open. Then service now analyze this part and say that yes. writing it, everybody write in a small letter always. So as soon as I do the tab out, they make it as a small letter. Small letter. So this is something they do in the San Diego or maybe in the room as well in, in some previous patches, they have done that part. Oh. Okay. Now the question come, when I log into the service portal, I'm getting this page. Atul, what a bad page it is. I want something good page. Where you have to make a change. Go here and remove this and put double asterisk. Go. Now see the magic. This is the con configuration actually and go and reload it. See, page has been changed now. This is still there. Don't be, don't be worried. We are be coming on that part. It means the home page which you are able to see is coming from this particular field. If you want to create, let me show you the index page. Let click here. I show you that, that the coding because this is pure coding, nothing else. It is a pure coding part. This page. They just mention like this only. And something like this only. And I'm sure that at least I cannot write this much code. But don't be confused. It's just showing the page content that how this page has been defined, how this page has been looked like this one. This particular picture is giving this, I guess, again, they, they edit in the San Diego in this Polaris one only. They added the way that if you want to see instance with search, it means this one. This section is this thing. Search type head search. Maybe they're talking about something in the here or some on the top only. Request something knowledge base, get help. They're talking about these things. So now they're making our work so easy. Today, today we are just understanding the basics only. Let me save it. This one, if I go and reload it. This one. But tomorrow I'll show you that how this actually configuration can be changed in the background. If I want to add any new box here, how I can add it. Now, if I go here, KB view two, if I click on this, this page, I'm getting this option. I don't want this option. Go here and make a change. Let me say some other option. I put it here. Branding editor. 
now go and reload it it has been changed it means the things you are able to see on the form on the page on the portal it's coming from these only now if i make a change here kb2 view this one and now i go and make a change here sp header menu or let put some other menu here security header menu this has been changed it means these things are be getting if you want you can create your own menu header as well nobody is going to be stop you let me open the new page they you see they are using the widget as a header menu under that they have defined some code here i don't know that what what code they are be saying here let me see if anything has been down so now you can see they have created the different different menus you can create your own menu nobody will ask you these things are required no put i am coming to your point here these things are required when you are when your customer say i need a complete custom portal like this to do this part we have to create our own menu because i cannot get all menu in a one go so i need to create a custom menu header for the same the same thing i done it here and if i take the theme as a here lazuli is the default theme and i guess let put the stock theme and i go here and reload my page be something they change in the background stock team i'm not getting it here but you can make it your changes here easily or if you want to try you can try it here as well see these are the codes they mention in the beginning a lot a lot of things are there in this actually that that is the major problem because defining a portal is not that much easy which way we thinking let me go and try to reload my page so these things are there let me put the normal sp header menu and i put the lazula you can click on the logos and icons you can make a change very easily now let me come here any doubt any question anyone i'll i'll start from kane he is very silent today kane any doubt any question So I don't know. Maybe to maybe tomorrow if you still have time, you can tell us project you've done on service portal. Yes. You mentioned earlier that um, you don't really suggest customization. So what exactly have you done for your past project? Give us a minute. Okay. So okay, let let me give you one exercise today. Okay, everyone, go to say my my instance and create a new portal. okay create a new portal and try to use different different icons here different different options here don't don't use service portal theme neither the menu header and then see how your portal look like 
No need to be write any code here. Nothing. Nothing is required. Just create with your name and try to see. And tomorrow I'll show you that that if you if you go here, if you open this, mm, there is no option is showing it right. Okay, let me show you here. Total configuration. Tomorrow we will discuss. Oh, SP is not there. It's LNG. This one. Tomorrow we will see that if I want to make a change on this on this page, want to make a something new theme here, or maybe I can say some color coding is there, some branding information is there. How we can do that? We'll see from here. Don't worry. From from a consulting perspective, you should know only the basic that is be good for you. But if you can do the hands on. at least create one portal put a different options and try because tomorrow when i going for this configuration you have to do the same thing in your portal as well we will see that how we can edit the widgets how we can edit the page how we can design the layout we may be this thing is showing 1 2 3 5 or 6 boxes here i want something on the top here how we can make a change that will see in the service portal configuration so we don't don't take any 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 tension on that part just go traverse or the go through the this thing what i can say your portal service portal which i created just now or updated just now do that part do the hands on request incident see these multiple options and then try to modify the theme index page kb page catalog page try to do that part then you will understand the service portal very easily okay yes anyone else any other question doubt ken are you there or you are sleeping ken did not ask any question i'm i'm be worrying now because la ken did not ask any question Atu, I want to have questions tomorrow. Yes, sure. go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Tomorrow, not today. <laughs> oh, tomorrow, not today. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, no problem. So I am giving you this this homework. Now I have just write one more question. Everybody try to find out that what is ESM portal in service now. Try to find out what is ESM portal. is this esm is equal to employee service center which we already have seen here or it is something different try to find out because this is the portal which is going to be used now for for your work a very 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 badly because being a consultant we should know that how to design this how to define this and companies are coming on this very very quickly nowadays okay everyone clear on this part now i will also do some some r and d in the background that why or what i am i'm not able to see but definitely i want you to be as well do some kind of r and d on that top of that see it's not showing any any knowledge base any catalogs that is it's it's not showing anything here simple done i guess we're on the right track no problem so we will connect again tomorrow guys let me stop the recording here